Okay, time to move on to the main bit of the agenda where you wanted to continue working and you fear has been harmed. Yeah. So I wondered if it would make sense firstly just to have a bit of a recap on how we summarised um, the situations which sometimes make you feel scared of being harmed. Okay. So in terms of what happens, was it right that you said that um, making eye contact with people in shops or in the street could potentially be a trigger for fears of being harmed? Is that right? Yeah. 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 And in terms of the way that you made sense of that, if you might, if you kind of randomly made eye, eye contact, is that you thought that the other person would interpret your eye contact as a provocation and that they may respond aggressively to you. Mm-hmm. Was that that bit right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And understandably, the consequences by feeling very scared and therefore um, avoiding eye contact with people mm-hmm. and putting your cap over your eyes as well. Um, and just rushing and trying to get you shopping if you're in a shop done as quick as possible or rushing down the street as quickly as possible to try and keep safe really. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. That kind of that kind of sum it up. Yeah, it does, yeah. Like that was sort of the most thing. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. So another thing we looked at in our last session was we collected survey responses as well about how other people interpret random eye contact if that happens in the street or in the shops. Yeah. Do you remember what we concluded from that survey? Um, yeah, I think most people had said that they weren't they'd bothered if mm-hmm. people made eye contact with them um, and they just thought, you know, it's just, someone's just caught my eye mm-hmm. um, and it, it, it's random and they're not, there's no mm-hmm. real reason why anyone, they don't think anything of it really. Most yeah. people said that, so. What did you make of that? Because I guess the way that, in terms of the way you make sense of eye contact, it seems very threatening. So what do you make of that that other people said something different about it? Well, I guess it made me feel a little bit more reassured. Mm. Um, you know, um, I guess it, you know at the time before you told me about that, mm. or before we discussed it, um, I was like like eighty percent convinced mm. that people would. Yeah, become aggressive yeah, yeah. And, and if I made eye contact with them. Um, I guess after hearing that, it, um, I'd probably say I'm more like at 60% yeah. um, where I'm you know, convinced that people would get aggressive if I make eye contact with them. So perhaps a little less certain that this bad thing will happen if you, if you make eye contact. Yeah. Has that in any way, if we sort of think back to this summary, has thinking about it in a less sort of... So, you're less certain that people will respond aggressively. It's still quite high, but perhaps less certain. Has that in any way affected how you feel or what you do now that that belief has come down a bit? Um, I still go wear my cap yeah. when I go out and I have it over my eyes yeah. and I keep my head down and I just basically rush about and yeah. just try and get things done as quickly as I can mm. and get back, yeah. get back home or whatever. Um, so I still worry about it. Yeah. Uh, I guess that's understandable if, if the you see the the risk as being sixty percent that's more likely yeah. than not, isn't it? And and um it's understandable that you want to that you probably feel scared and you want to keep yourself safe really. Um what I'm wondering is what else we might be able to do to help you overcome this fear really that eye contact can trigger aggression. And we've done quite a bit of work with surveys and looking at the evidence and it's come down a bit. Another thing I'm wondering, which, which has the, there's something that really has the potential to help you, um, but I understand it might be quite a scary thing at the same time, is whether we could find out for real, outside of the office, whether it's true that eye contact triggers aggression. Test it out. Do you see what I'm getting at there, really? What what something that might involve? Um, I'm not sure, really. Uh, I'm not really sure how I can get past it. Okay. We'd have to do it in a, in a safe way, and it could involve us doing tests together. Um, but the thing is, how how do we find out if, for real, if eye contact causes aggression? How do we test that out? Um, I guess I 
go out and look at people. So it's not something where I think I'm, I'm really good at. So I'm not sure if that's right. Yeah, but yeah. that would be a, a way of testing it. I wonder how you feel about that idea. Um, I'm not sure. It's, uh, it sounds a bit scary. Yeah. But, uh, I guess. Um, I'm not sure what, how I'd do it exactly. Yeah. So, um, what, would, what, what would we do? I guess if, if we were to test it, we'd have to pick a situation where the risk didn't feel too um, big. I wouldn't want you to put you under any necessary risk. And I would accompany you if you felt okay with that, so that the two of us together okay. doing it. But I'm wondering if there's a situation that you can think of that perhaps we were a little bit scared of eye contact, but where the risk, the aggressive response isn't too severe from somebody. So you, so it scares you a little, but you're not convinced that someone's going to actually whack you on, really. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, when I go out um, to the shop, uh -huh. um, there's, there's, there's a shopkeeper there, and there's usually only about one or two people uh -huh. um, in like the local shop. <clears throat> so... Um, I feel a little bit better about yeah. going there than I do when I'm on the streets, walking around the streets generally. Um, I feel um, like it's more likely to be more aggressive if I look at people in the eye. Um, so, yeah. yeah. So, in the streets, I remember you saying it, it's, you feel it's a bit dodgy around here and that feels a bit more unpredictable. But, it, but it, if you make eye contact with somebody, but in the shop, it's not as bad. Yeah. Um, so, when you go to the shop, um, how nervous are you feeling in the shop on a soft scale? Not doing anything. Um, yeah, sixty percent. Sixty. Yeah. And are you still doing those things like avoiding eye contact with the people in the shop and putting your cap down and things like that? Yeah. Yeah, I was just going in and not looking at yeah. anyone when I'm buying stuff to just give them money and leave. I'm wondering about um, the people in the shop and who you might be willing to test out looking at. Would you be willing to test out looking at the other people that might be shopping or the shopkeeper when you pay for something? What would feel um, something that you're willing to test out really that? Um, I guess um, I could try and Look at the shopkeeper and buy something. Um, yeah. Maybe that does. That sounds like a potentially really good way of testing it. See, so is it right that you're currently not looking at the shopkeeper in the eye when you pay for things? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just worried that um, you know, ask me what I'm looking at. Okay. Like, what are you looking at? Uh, and you know, like start frowning at me and stuff. Um, so I worry about that so I don't look at the eye from buying anything. Oh, I see, yeah. So, so a bit similar to what happened on the street, um, in that you're worried that if you look in the eye, then the shopkeeper will ask you what you're looking at or respond with an aggressive scowl. Yeah. I know that on the street you worry that someone's going to physically confront you, even start a fight with you. Yeah. Is that a fear that you have with the shopkeeper? Um, no, I just think he might just get verbally aggressive with me and start asking what I'm looking at. Um, now when he lies at me and frowning and just being a bit... Yeah. It's more, more about verbal and, and sort of the expression and body language and things. Yeah. And how certainly that eye contact will result in that kind of response? Is, is that 60 or is that different? Um, but still 60, yeah. but uh, it'll be 60% that he might be a bit verbally aggressive, I suppose, and do all the facial expressions and stuff. So, again, more likely than not, if we were to test it out to find out what really happens, how would you feel if he didn't respond in that way? Um, uh, I'd be... I'd be, oh, I think it would be good if you didn't. Mm -hmm. um, I can't imagine it, but it would be good if you didn't. Yeah. I think I'd probably feel more reassured, I suppose. 
So it could potentially be a worthwhile thing to find out then. It might help you feel better and help you work towards your goal of overcoming your fear. Yeah. On the other hand, if you did respond in that aggressive way that you worried, could you cope? How would we manage that if that happened? I guess I would maybe just say sorry, you know, well, I didn't mean anything by it. Um, or if I didn't feel up to do that, I'd probably just not buy anything and just walk out um, and leave or whatever. Um, yeah. So we could escape and potentially it would be okay? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think, yeah. I'd be okay. Would this be a reasonable test to try out then, you reckon? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, something could, that we could do together. And would you be happy for me to come with you? Would that feel helpful for me to be there at, as we do this experiment? Or would you prefer to do it on your own or something? Or what would you? Um, I guess I don't, I'm not really sure what's going to happen. So mm. I'm probably good if you were to come along. Um, Great. I'd yeah. really like to accompany yeah. you with that. And um, potentially it's something we could do in this session, actually, if you want to. Before we do that, I wonder if we could just maybe jot a few things down, um, just perhaps on this bit of paper here. So if I just kind of write down, just in terms of your prediction, I mean, it's a bit like we're mapping out an experiment, a bit like, I don't remember doing experiments at school, but this is just the thing that you're afraid might happen. So we just define it in observable terms. Would you be able to write it down for me? Yeah. It's fine about spelling or anything like that. So what exactly do you fear will happen if you look the shopkeeper in the eye? So um, I was putting that out. Do you ask me what I'm looking at? Yeah, that's, yeah that sounds like a really, um, you really defines that clearly. And uh, what, what else might you see that you give you a clue that he was being responding aggressively. Um, he thinking like, like the no expression. his eyes, okay. um, frown at me, um, and just maybe start just shouting at me loud, loudly. All these kind of observable signs of aggression, really, and, and the verbal aggression, too. And could you write down your rating of how how certain you thought, how likely you thought that was out of 100? Um, 60%. That's great. Okay. I wondered if we could also just jot down, just so we're clear exactly how we carry this out. So which, which shop are we, half, is it the one at the road or is, it, is that the shop that we're thinking of? Uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just a room, yeah, it's like a normal food shop, yeah. And when would you like to get make any eye contact? Perhaps when you say when paying for something, is that what you said? Or, um, um, yeah, yeah, um, so I know that I normally wear my eye cap and cover my eyes, yeah. um, so I guess I could maybe uncover my eyes and wear my cap at a, like a normal level, I suppose, when I'm in the shop. Yeah, sure. And how long do you reckon would be a reasonable test in terms of eye contact? So how many seconds do you think you'd need to make eye contact with somebody to risk an aggressive response, so to speak? Um, seconds, two or three seconds. Yeah, two like or that. three seconds. Yeah. So sort of, if I look at you now a bit like this, one, two, three. And then you can yeah. look away. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that'll be, yeah, you know, that'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. With the cap, I mean, I don't know what you make of this, but what would you think of taking the cap off altogether? Would you be comfortable doing that or? Um, I don't think I'd be able to do that. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'm able to do that because um, um, people might, I might yeah. catch someone's eye on the way to the shop. Okay. Um, so I, I, I'd have to have it on the way to the shop, have it on, just to make sure I don't make contact with anyone on the street. That I shouldn't have with anyone. Um, so I understand. That is, yeah. So what you're saying is, um, because we're not there in terms of testing it in the street yet, 
because that feels even riskier, that you want to keep your cap on in the street just for now, because you don't feel quite ready for that. Yeah. And that's okay. Um, did you want to leave it on in the shop, or did you want to take it off in the shop? What, what, would you, what do you feel ready to do? Um, I think I'll still leave it on, but I'll just lift it up so you yeah. see my eyes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And that certainly would be different to what you normally do, because that would be a good test, really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're quite clear on what, what exactly you need to do. I don't know if you want to drop that down or if you feel you know that already. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Just to just to sort of we're clear about what you will do differently in your behaviour in order to test out. So what you're gonna do is yeah, wear your cap at with the sort of pink at an arm angle and um, all eye contact for, for three seconds. Well it's paying for some things, that not Great, and shall we just go and do it then? So we're quite clear on what we're going to do. Let's yeah. go to the shop. Yeah. Okay, see okay. what happens. <laughs> so, we did it. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Um, well, uh, not what I thought would happen. Okay. Um, basically, um, he, was, he didn't even seem to even notice yeah. that I walked at him. So, yeah, it was. Um, it, uh, it's just not what I was expecting. He went a lot better than I thought. Yeah. Um, I think he even well, I think I even smiled when I did, yeah. um, which which was nice. So, yeah, it's good. Nothing bad happened. No, <laughs> no, no that's all. Thank God they didn't come true. Really. <laughs> so yeah, that was good. So, what do you make of that now then, in terms of um, this fear on here that if you make eye contact with somebody, that the other person will think you're provoking them and respond aggressively, or it might verbally um, be aggressive or I might show it in the face. That was originally 60%. How would you rate that now after testing it out? Um, I'd probably say it's about 10% now. Come down um, quite a bit, really. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it was completely different to what I expected yeah. would happen. Um, so yeah. yeah. Wow. So it's really helped you look at it in a different way. Yeah. Believing this le less strongly, does I mean, how does that affect how you feel about this now? That in terms of you used to feel highly anxious, really. Um, I, I, I feel reassured that you know no one else would have been like doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna okay. you know, become aggressive and um it it's made me feel I guess wonder about, you know yeah. and also they say the outcome I suppose and makes me feel a little bit a little bit better about going out. Yeah. You know, so and, and looking at people when and out, you know. Almost willing to even do things a little differently. Yeah. See so saying that you might feel a bit anxious then, a bit less anxious, sorry, as yeah. a result of that belief. And the probability of fear coming down a bit. Yeah, yeah. In terms of what you might do differently, sort of linking back to this diagram, you've touched upon the fact that you might be willing to potentially look people in the eye. I mean, what what kind of situations might you be willing to do that? Um, uh, I guess I would maybe try it in the shop again. Yeah. Um, sort of try that on your own, really. Yeah, yeah. just to see if it still happens I suppose um, and maybe you know maybe hopefully I can start doing it in the streets and all um, I mean it'd be great not to have to wear my cap all the time because it can get hot <laughs> in summer as well yeah yeah if you feel ready to help to to look at that it feels like perhaps the shop is a sensible place to try that out again on your own the same shopkeeper see if we can build up your confidence in some of the other situations is that something you might be willing to do um, for, a, for a homework task this week then uh, yeah, yeah, I can maybe try and look at the shopkeeper in the eye when I'm, you know, going yeah. buy my bread and my milk, um, when I'm paying for it. So yeah, I'll Good. probably try it again. Can you see any problems with doing that for a homework task, or um, are you fairly confident you'd be able to do that? Um, I'm, I'm happy to give it a go. Yeah. 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 
What was you going to say? You just hope. Just that, uh, just that it goes well staying. Yeah. So, yeah. But let me just check, because this might be a problem. If, if it didn't go as well as it did today, could you cope with it? And what would you do? I guess I'd do, uh, you know, either leave the shop or maybe yeah. just apologise if, if you did get offended, if that were to happen. Um, yeah. So, so is it worse? So it's probably, based on what we've looked at so far, the way that you sense it, it's probably unlikely that he'll respond in that way. But even if the worst does happen, it does get out clause, really. Yeah. So if you could give that a try in the week, and then we can discuss it next week and see how it went. Okay. Okay. So shall we bring things to an end now, then? Yeah.